What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's me Arnik and today I'm coming with another video, it's a scam video. Um, no, <laughs> I'm not gonna got scammed again, um, I'm talking about the way people scamming uh, at this moment. Many people just try to scam me the same way, like I got scammed already. So um, I still got two of these people in my friends list, I don't know why they don't even kick me. This guy was, this is the first guy who scam, uh, tried to scam me last time, um, three days ago now. He just wrote, hello, what's up, blah, blah, blah. Can you, I need your help. <laughs> Why the fuck should someone add me? You can see what he wants. He cannot withdraw and blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna give you something if you withdraw for me. Of course, I need to depose something. That means... He wants something from me, but if you want to depose, you cannot only depose some, some kind of 10 cent skin. No, they want the fucking 50 euros or 100 euro skin for it. So I knew it, it was scam, so I just wrote fuck off and you went offline. Uh, yeah, so this is the first guy. Um, at the moment, he, he calls himself Hinter. These are the names he used already before. Skin buyer, of course, skin buyer. You fucking scammer. And um, yes, you can see, you got some pretty expensive games like GTA V, Payday. Payday isn't expensive anymore, but I mean, Primal, Far Cry, Gary Smart is still expensive. That's actually a good game. And Alan Wake is a good game too, but uh, I mean, I bet this guy paid his games with scam money. You can see inventory. You don't have much. Some skins, but not the expensive skins. Just some usual drop skins or maybe a, something a bit better than usual. Yes, yeah, so um, be careful about this guy. And yeah, this is another one. Uh, who wrote me, I was in the game, so he wrote, hey, not busy, I was, uh, I'm in game, who are you, because he edited me, I didn't know why, so he wrote, I have a problem, blah, 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 I won so many coins, and I cannot withdraw, why the fuck you cannot withdraw something, trade hold, of course you have a trade hold, and um, yes, I wrote him, that he's a scammer, and uh, just showed the fuck off, like, another guy and uh i wrote it at the same time he wrote this but my was shown up first and then you read that message and went offline after you read that this is the guy this really sad look at this level 62 660 games the thing about him you cannot comment on this wall and last message is 2014 with nice trades and all the sites about good trader, good trader, good trader, because he went on some of these um, rep for rep sites just to get some reputation and then start scamming people. And I think since 2040 or even earlier, he started scamming people and that's how he paid all these games and everything from scamming people. And there are a lot of games. I bet he got in what the fuck, GTA um, Grand. Of course, he got GTA, all the parts of it. Oh, not the five. Okay. So, um, I really think he's paying his stuff with scam money. So you need to be careful about that. This is the way the scam works. People just write you, can you help me? I'm playing on this and this side and I cannot uh, withdraw anymore. If they saying something like that, just block, report him on Seam right here and go just uh, attempt to trade scam and write what happens. Of course, the problem is Steam support do any shit about it. That's the sad part. After I got scammed, I wrote to Steam support. They 
don't even reply to me and they don't even ban this guy or trade ban him or whatever or even the bot of the scamming site no did nothing and another thing is of course there are way more uh, scam uh, arts they doing and the, the scammer is gonna always find a new way to scam people but um yeah all, always ask your friends or people you trust a bit or more than nothing about that and if they say it looks like scam just don't do this um the next thing is if someone says uh you're gonna sell or give you real money for your skins paypal bitcoins whatever you using don't do this or if you want to do that let him pay first then you're gonna give the skin because it's like in the market if you want to buy a fucking potatoes you go to the market pay the money take your potatoes and go home you're not gonna go to market take your potatoes eat them and then you go there and say here's the money for the potatoes no this is not how it works and that's why you shouldn't do that uh, this way and if someone says um you're gonna get a trade moderator a moderator or something like that there is nothing like that no something like that doesn't even exist on steam there is no one who gonna take both of your skins uh, in his own inventory and check them or whatever no something like that doesn't exist so um if someone wants uh trade with you just really don't do this i mean most people try to scam and this is really sad about that community because some people just working hard to get some of the skins they really like because uh, me i i don't get a lot of money at my job and um i was so fucking happy as i got my butterfly knife it cost so much and 150 euros uh, and i was like oh my god this is a fucking amazing knife i love it and i thought okay i'm gonna depose this knife for him to withdraw some skins that he wants and i'm gonna withdraw my knife back but yeah i got scammed i don't have a lot of money no that was actually all my money i had to use for things i like and that was this knife and yeah that's gone of course this month i got a new knife not so good i called him when i be crimson web <laughs> for my old one but um yeah people just be careful about tradings and all other stuff and see you next time bye bye